What's going on, Gifted Hands family? It is Elijah here, bringing you another lesson. And today, I'm super excited. We're gonna be starting a new series, and we're gonna be talking about how to use modes, how to use the seven main modes in gospel music and how they are commonly used in gospel, all right? So today, we're starting off with the first mode out of the seven, like church modes, right? And this is going to be the Ionian mode. Ionian mode, all right? And so essentially, what the Ionian mode is, really, is just like the major scale, all right? So if you're playing any major scale, and you're starting on the first note of that major scale, you got the Ionian mode, all right? So C major and C Ionian, same thing. If you're playing F major, F major, F Ionian, same thing, right? Doesn't matter what key we pick, let's go F sharp. One, uh, one two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? So pretty much any gospel song written in a major key is going to be using the Ionian mode. Um, and so that's really easy. You probably already know it. This major scale is the first scale that most musicians will learn, right? So you're already comfortable with using this. But I want to show you a couple extra ways that you can use this scale. I mean, that is used in gospel that you might not be familiar with. All right. So let's use a song example. Um, let's try Great Is Your Mercy. All right. Uh, Donnie McClurkin song. So it goes like this. Great is your mercy, don't loving kindness towards me. Young and the mercies I see day after day. All right, so this song has some use of the Ionian mode, but not in the regular way of like the song, I played it in C major, it's not written in C, but I just played it in C major, right? So technically the song is using C Ionian um, for the composition, but we also have the Ionian mode used somewhere else, which is essentially the major scale is applied somewhere else. And so when we're talking about these modes, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna apply the modes um, to pretty much major harmony to give our, to give ourselves a different sound. So where is the Ionian mode used in this song outside of just our C major scale, right? So if you heard when we got to the six, we played A major. If we're in, the, the song is written in C major, right? So it should be an A minor because this is the sixth chord of C, right? The sixth of C, two, three, four, five, six, or the sixth of any key diatonically should be minor, should be a minor chord. But in this song we do day after day, So all they're doing here is using the Ionian mode on the six. So we're playing A Ionian, essentially, right? We're taking this chord from the Ionian mode, from A Ionian, which would just mean the A major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. That's one way I like to think about it, right? And so essentially, um, I like to think about it because when you're trying to figure out chords and like how to create runs and licks off of them, it's great to know what scale a chord comes from or what key a chord from, comes from, right? So if I know that this chord is taken from A Ionian, then I know, okay, well, cool. That means the, it matches up with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and matches up with the A Ionian scale, which means when this chord is played, um, I can play an A major, I can play an A major scale or a lick based off of the A major scale, right? All that is based off of A major, the A major scale. And then also, what we could do as well is create passing progressions based off of this mode. So based off of this A Ionian mode, right? Um, so that could be, that could be like a two, five, one. Since we're in A Ionian, we know, or A major. I know I could play a two, five, one, or we could do, we could do like a walk up to get to that. A major chord we can do a bunch of things but when we know the scale when we know the mode that a chord is comes from it just gives us more options and more versatility to um, embellish the song right so let's play that one more time in context All right, so that's the A major chord, A Ionian, kind of played 
in that song. And so this is one of the common ways that you hear Ionian, the Ionian mode used in gospel is by playing it over the sixth chord or it applied to the sixth chord. So um, it would be the same thing if we played it in any other song that we're going to the sixth. So let's try that again. Uh, let's see, let's maybe use a different song example like Thank You Lord. Song goes, I'm gonna play it in the same key. Thank you. So this song is uh, just one, seven, three, six. So we go to the six a bunch of times in this song. So let's do the same, let's use the same concept. And when we get to the six, let's just play um, the six chord based off of the Ionian mode. So it'll just be a major chord, right? That's all that means. So we got, thank you. All that's Ionian. Stuff like that. Just using the A major scale. So thank you. Lord. And then, so we're, we're using A Ionian, right? A major. And then we can continue on with our progression, go back, right back into C major. Thank to you, Lord. Thank you, change the melody up to make it fit that scale or make it fit yeah that mode na, 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 na. I just want to thank you Lord and then even if we're thinking Ionian like I said this Ionian mode could be applied to any chord so if I'm landing on uh, I just want to thank I'm supposed to end it on the one right the one C major, since we're playing this in C major, but we could really land on any chord. As long as, and I'm thinking um, in terms of reharmonizing the song, reharmonizing the melody, uh, the melody is at C. But if I don't want to end on C, let's apply the Ionian mode somewhere else. So I just want to thank you. So maybe we try, we try applying it on the E flat, which is like a minor third away from our root. See, the E flat is a minor third. So maybe we could apply it here. And what does this mean if I play E flat Ionian? I'm playing like an E flat major scale, essentially, right? Or an E flat major chord, which corresponds with an E flat major scale. So here's E flat Ionian, and that would give us an E flat major seven chord over the E flat, right? And of course, in my right hand, I can play a E flat major scale, okay? So that would be, I just want to thank you, Lord. Okay. Cool, so that's E flat. Ionian, add in that, or you can play it on the six. So that's two common ways that you'll hear the Ionian mode applied to gospel songs is by playing it on the six or applying it to the six or applying it to even something like a minor third, which is technically outside of the key that this song would be written in or that we're playing this song in, right? So you can apply it essentially though to any, um, any note on the piano, any chord in your progression, you can apply it almost anywhere in your plan, but here's the most common ways that I use it in my plan and that I've heard it um, in gospel tunes is to apply it to the, either the six or the minor third, uh, like a minor third away from your one, the minor three. All right, so that is it for this lesson. We have started off with the Ion Ionian mode, <laughs> it's a tongue twister. Um, so over the next couple of weeks, you're gonna be seeing, we're gonna walk through each one of the seven church modes. So we're gonna have, you know, we start off with Ionian, Next lesson is going to be Dorian, then we're gonna go into Phrygian, then we got 
Lydian, then we're going to Mixolydian, then we got uh, Aeolian, then finally we'll end it with Locrian, all right? So we got one out of seven down. Check the next lesson where we will be talking about the Dorian scale Dorian mode. See you soon.